What is up guys? In this video we're going to be discussing the Naive Bayes classification algorithm and Naive Bayes is used to calculate probability and conditional probabilities. And we're going to be discussing the Gaussian Naive Bayes which is based on normal distribution. And Naive Bayes is very fast due to its simplicity and it's used for spam detection, text classification, and sentiment analysis. But uh, we're going to be going over a much more easy to understand example, such as determining how the weather is and what the temperature is, and based on that, whether people will go outside or not. So as you can see from this diagram right here, there is a list of weather followed by another column that says whether the person went outside to play. On this day it said sunny and the person did not go, then it said sunny again and the person did not go, and so on. And it's going to calculate the frequency and with the frequency it will calculate the likelihood. And finally it's going to tell us whether the person is likely to go outside or not based on the weather, the temperature, and as many factors as you'd like to include. So our program is going to look very similar to this one over here, but of course we're going to go ahead and write this in Python. So the first thing we want to do is get started with the imports. So the first import we're going to add is numpy as mp. Then we want to import pandas as pd from sklearn.naivebase. We are going to import Gaussian naive base. Then from sklearn.model selection, we will import train test split. And finally from sklearn.preprocessing, we want to import the label encoder. And I'll show you what this does later, but essentially it's going to turn our strings into numbers and then we will analyze those numbers and convert those back into strings because most of these programs rely on working with numbers to function efficiently. So the first thing we want to do is create some sample data. And I'm going to start by creating some raw data and that's going to be an empty map, which is going to start with the weather value and the weather value is going to be an array and we should add an equal sign here. And here we're going to add 10 different weather states. So the first thing we're going to add is sunny and we can duplicate this maybe three times. Then we will go ahead and add rainy and we will also duplicate this three times. And finally, we are going to add clear and we're going to duplicate this, let's say three more times. So we should have 10 in total, as you can see. Three are going to be sunny, three are going to be rainy, or actually I put four here, so let's get rid of one, and four are going to be clear. Then we want to add a comma at the end of this list because we need to add our second value, which is going to be the temperature. And then you want to add a temperature for each one of these weathers. So the first one is going to be hot for the sunny day, the second one is going to be cold. Then we're going to add hot again for the third sunny day. Then we're going to add hot again for the rainy day, followed by cold for the next rainy day and hot again for the final rainy day. And then we have four clear weathers we need to specify. And I'm going to write hot and hot for the first two and cold for the second two. So you need to make sure that these lists correspond with the same amount of elements. So this one has 10 and this one has 10. And finally, we need to add whether the person went outside during this weather or whether they stayed at home. So we're gonna create another value called go outside. And this is going to be a list of yes or no. So on the first day it was hot and sunny. So the person decided it was a good idea to go outside. Then it was cold and sunny but the person still went outside and we're just going to provide yes for all three because when it's sunny and it's cold or hot the person likes to go outside but now it is rainy and hot and the person still decides to go outside but when it becomes rainy and cold the person will say no so we'll just type in no for rainy and cold then for rainy and hot we're going to write no so sometimes they go out when it's rainy and hot and sometimes they don't then we only have four more values to work with and we're just going to insert yes for clear and hot and yes again for clear and hot and no for clear and cold because this person does not like it when it's clear and cold. So as you can see, this is the sample data that we'll be using to determine whether someone goes outside or not. And this is based on past experience. So just make sure there's 10 of each and we can move on with creating the function. And it's going to be a function called predict outside, which is going to take the now weather, which is the weather we input and the temperature that we input. Then inside here, we're going to go ahead and create a data frame. So it's going to be PD 
dot data frame and we are going to pass inside the raw data. Then we're gonna go ahead and print this data frame to see what we have so far. So go ahead and just do that. And let's predict something random such as hello and hello, since these values will not be used. So let's go ahead and right click and run our program. And as you can see, we will end up with this data frame that says when the weather is sunny and hot, the person goes outside or when it's clear and cold, he does not go outside. So this just simplifies how we visualize our data. Then we have to go ahead and encode our parameters. And the first thing we need to refer to is our label encoder. And that's just going to equal a label encoder. And then we have to create some variables. One's called encoded weather. One's going to be called encoded temperature. And that's going to equal the label encoder dot fit transform that we have to refer to our data frame and insert the weather and we're going to do the same thing for the encoded temperature so we can actually just go ahead and duplicate this and insert the temp then we also have to go ahead and encode whether they go outside or not and we're just going to call that encoded go and that's going to equal the same thing as the other two except inside here we will insert the data frame with go outside then we want to combine the inputs for the weather and the temperature so to do this we are going to create a variable called features and that's going to equal a tuple of a zip of the encoded weather and the encoded temperature then let's just go ahead and print all of this so encoded weather print encoded temperature and print the encoded go then of course we need to call this function predict one two it doesn't matter what we insert there and i actually messed up here this is supposed to be fit transform for each one of these so make sure you add the transform to each one and rerun the program. So you're going to notice that everything is going to be encoded into digits such as two, one, and zero. So this just makes it much easier for the program to understand what's going on and to compute values much faster. So we're actually going to map these values so we can understand how they work. And let's just make this a bit smaller. So right under the print statements, we're gonna start with a map number and that's going to equal a map. So the first thing we want to encode is the sunny value and we're going to refer to that as value number two. As you can see here we have sunny, we have rainy and we have clear. So each one of these values corresponds to the string we have created earlier. So sunny is two and rainy is equal to one and finally clear is equal to zero. Then we want to encode that hot is equal to one and that cold is equal to zero. And if you're wondering how I found this out, it's fairly simple. Just go back up to your list and you'll notice that this is in the exact same order as the numbers down here. So sunny is two, rainy is one, hot is one, cold is zero, and yes is one and no is zero. So that's fairly simple. And now we have our map so we can easily understand this later. But now we can close the console and we can delete these print statements. So the next thing we should do is create our X and Y. So our X is going to equal a NumPy array of the features, which are just a combination of the encoded weather and the encoded temperature. Then we want to provide our Y, which is going to be another NumPy array of our encoded Go. Next, we want to go ahead and create this model. So the model is just going to equal a Gaussian NB, fairly simple. And there's one more thing you should do in case you have a lot of data and that is split it into training and testing data. I'm not going to be using it in this video because these are not enough values to efficiently use this. But if you have more values, definitely just create your train and test splits and use them inside your model and to score your model. But we're just going to skip that in this video because we do not have enough values. But the next thing we should do is fit the model. So just type in model.fit and we will insert X and Y. And if you actually do have enough values, make sure to insert your train X and your train Y instead. Then we want to get the score for the model and we're just going to print the score followed by the model dot score of x and y and here's where you would usually insert your test x and your test y if you have enough values and finally all that's left to do is to actually make the prediction so here we're going to type in make the prediction and the prediction is going to equal a model dot predict and we need to provide a two-dimensional array then we have to refer to our map number and inside here we are going to insert first 
the now weather and we're going to do it again for the temperature, the now temperature. So referring to this means we can actually insert the string of sunny or the string of hot and it will process that and turn it into an integer so that the program can compute a prediction. And we also want to turn the prediction into an integer. So we're just going to type in value and that's going to equal an integer of the prediction at the index of zero. Because right now it returns to us a numpy array, which we cannot use for anything else. And uh, we just want to make sure we can turn it into a value that we can compute. So now let's go ahead and add a few print statements to make this program readable. So first it's going to be a formatted string and it is the now temperature and now weather. So we can understand what the user inserted as an input. And then we will write a question, go outside. And now we should print our prediction. So print, and this is going to equal a prediction. And we're going to type in yes, if the value is equal to one, else no. So the program will tell us whether we want to go outside or not based on our past experiences and based on the weather. So here, let's go ahead and type in sunny and hot and let's go ahead and click on run. So as you can see, based on our past experience, it's going to tell us yes, because it is what we always did. Every time it's sunny and hot, we went outside and the program said, cool. So the program did its computation and found out that this is usually what we do. And that will be the prediction. Now let's go for something a bit less obvious, such as rainy and hot, rainy, hot, and rerun the program. And it says it is hot and rainy. Do you want to go outside? And it says yes. So that was the computation it made based on the insertions we put. And as you can see right here, one time we said no, and one time we said yes. And of course, to increase the accuracy of the program, you would want to provide many more data samples of past experiences, because sometimes it's going to have a 50 and 50% 50 chance, which makes it very hard to predict, but it will still predict it more or less accurately. Now let's go ahead and say it's rainy and cold and click on run, and it's going to say no this time. And one more thing you might have noticed is how fast this program compiles. It is truly simple to the point that it can compile compute all of this very fast with minimal effort. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover for this tutorial. As you can see, we managed to actually compute whether we want to go outside or not based on our past experiences. And of course, feel more than free to go ahead and add your own answers to this. You can change this to yes, or you can change it to no and play around with how the outcome will be affected. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to look at them. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video.